All right, guys, switching gears. The FDA has approved the first new drug treatment to ALS since 1995, and it's available right here in Middle Georgia. 41 NBC's Joy Duke shows us how the new treatment will impact residents suffering from the disease and why they won't have to go too far to get it. Joy? Earlier today, I spoke with Gloria Hernandez, who's been receiving the old ALS treatment at Navison Health for two months now. Still in the early stages, her family is hoping that the new drug available at Navison will bring her new hope for treatment. Most patients with this disease die within five years from the first symptom. This new drug won't slow down time, but it will slow down the effects of ALS. Well, ALS is a progressive neuromuscular disease. A patient will develop weakness in one part of their body, and this weakness will continue to progress throughout their entire body. That's why Gloria Hernandez and her family are grateful after hearing about Radicava, the latest drug available through Navison Health's rehabilitation clinic. Oh, wow. I was really excited. Really excited. Really went to look it up. Radicava is the first FDA-approved drug treatment for ALS since the early 1990s. You know, for them to say the FDA has approved something better, I'm all for it. It isn't a cure, but studies conducted over in Japan showed that it did in fact reduce the speed of the disease's progress. Dr. Michael Ridner says he's just happy patients won't have to go too far to get it. I'm, I'm very pleased that we have the clinic here in Macon where we can offer this type of treatment to our patients so they don't have to go anywhere else to get it. Kalita Hernandez says when she began researching ALS and saw the toll it could take on her mother-in-law, they were preparing for the worst case scenario. As a family, we're worried about her and we know we're not supposed to cry. And you know, when we get by ourselves, we, we might cry a little, you know. Um, but we know we have to be supportive. Now, Hernandez and her family are hoping that with this new treatment, they can look forward to a best case scenario. Dr. Michael Ribner says the new drug treatment could be available as early as August to ALS patients at Navison's Rehabilitation Clinic. All right, thank you so much, Joy Dukes, in the studio tonight. Navicent, by the way, they're one of only three ALS treatment facilities in the state. Two of those we know will offer the Radivkova. Say it for me, Joy. Radicava drug treatment. All right, forgive me.